हेलो लिसनर्स एंड वेलकम टू डेली करंट अफेयर्स अपडेट्स 29th ऑगस्ट 2022 दिस इज योर आरजे प्रियंका एंड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले आई टेक यू टू आवर फर्स्ट डेली अपडेट व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू द कैटेगरी ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट डे नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे 29th ऑगस्ट एवरी ईयर ऑन ऑगस्ट 29 इंडिया ऑब्जर्व्स नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे The day is observed to commemorate the birth anniversary of Major Dhyan Chand an Indian hockey legend. Major Dhyan Chand was a legend in Indian and international hockey. He was instrumental in India completing their first hat-trick of Olympic gold medals with victories at the 1928, 1932 and 1936 Summer Olympics. Multiple awards are presented on this day including the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Arjun Award Dhyan Chand Award and Drona Chare Award Let's move further to our daily update number 2 which belongs to the category of appointment Odia scientist Devasis Mohanty appointed as director of NII According to a personnel ministry order senior scientist Debasis has been appointed director of the National Institute of Immunology NII he is currently employed by the institute as a staff scientist the appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of dr debasis mohanty staff scientist 7 nii new delhi to the post of director national institute of immunology with effect from the date of assumption of charge of the post and up to the age of his superannuation the order said let's move further to our third daily update which belongs to the category of appointment Rajesh Verma named as secretary to president Draupadi Murmu According to the government Odisha cadre IAS officer Rajesh Verma has been appointed as secretary to president Draupadi Murmu Verma has previously served as the principal secretary to Odisha chief minister Navin Patnaik and the principal secretary of the government of Odisha's energy department In January 2022 Rajesh Verma secretary of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs MCA was given the additional charge of financial services secretary The appointments committee of the cabinet approved Rajesh Verma's nomination for additional charge as DFS secretary Let's move further to our fourth daily update which belongs to the category of miscellaneous Noida Twin Tower demolished. After much anticipation and deliberation, the Noida Supertech Twin Tower was demolished in just 9 seconds on Sunday, August 28th using the waterfall implosion technique. After approximately 5000 residents of Emerald Court and adjoining ATS village societies in sector 93A were evacuated by 7 am on Sunday the court ordered demolition took place Approximately 3000 vehicles were displaced as well as 150 to 200 pets including cats and dogs While the nearby Noida Greater Noida Expressway was closed from 2:15 to 2:45 p.m., the city remained a drone-free zone. Let's move further to our fifth daily update for today which belongs to the category of appointment. Vikram Durai Swamy appointed to UK as India's High Commissioner. The Ministry of External Affairs MEA announced that Vikram Durai Swamy the current Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh has been appointed as India's next High Commissioner to the United Kingdom in 1992 Durai Swamy joined the Indian Foreign Service he worked in journalism for a year before that according to the MEA he graduated from Delhi University with a master's degree in history Durai Swamy was appointed third secretary in the Indian embassy in Hong Kong in May 1994 after completing his in-service training in New Delhi from 1992 to 1993. Let's move further to our sixth daily update for today which belongs to the category of agreement. Ireda and Mahapreet sign an MOU to provide loans for green energy projects. 
The Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited IRADA has signed a memorandum of understanding MOU with the Mahatma Phule Renewable Energy and Infrastructure Technology Limited Mahapreet According to the MOU IRADA will provide Mahapreet with financing facilities for renewable energy projects to be implemented for state utilities local governments and the infrastructure of renewable energy parks Shri Pradeep Kumar Das Chairman and Managing Director CMD IRADA and Shri Bipin Srimali CMD Mahapreet signed the MOU Let's move further to our 7th daily update which belongs to the category of appointment. Sajid Sivanandan appointed as the head of Disney Plus Hotstar. Sajid Sivanandan, former Google Pay managing director has been appointed executive vice president and head of Disney Plus Hotstar to oversee the company's overall business operations in India. Sivanandan will start at Disney Plus Hotstar in October and will report to both Rebecca Campbell, Chairman of Disney's International Content and Operations Group and K Madhavan, President of Disney Star. Sivanandan and Executive Vice President will also collaborate closely with local leadership in international markets as well as the Disney Plus team in the United States. Let's move further to our Eighth daily update which belongs to the category of obituaries. Veteran producer Abdul Ghaffar Nadiadwala passes away. Abdul Ghaffar Nadiadwala, a veteran film producer, died at the age of 91. Multiple issues including diabetes and asthma contributed to his death. Abdul Ghaffar Nadiadwala has worked in the industry since 1984. Jhoota Sach starring Dharmendra and Rekha was his first film as a producer. Lahu ke do rang and the comedy drama Hera Pheri were his next films. Hera Pheri is regarded as one of the Bollywood's finest comedies. He was extremely enthusiastic about his film and devoted his heart and soul to each project. Let's move further to our ninth daily update which belongs to the category of national Amrita Hospital Asia's biggest hospital unveiled by PM Modi Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Amrita Hospital in Faridabad Haryana with the goal of increasing the availability of modern medical infrastructure in the national capital region NCR The super speciality hospital which will be managed by Mata Amrita Nandmai Math will have 2600 beds The hospital which is being built at a cost of around rupees 6000 crores will provide cutting edge healthcare to the people of Faridabad and the entire NCR region. Now let's move further to the 10th and last daily update for today which belongs to the category of state. Chhattisgarh government to set up 300 rural industrial parks in the state. The Chhattisgarh government will establish rural industrial parks in the state in an effort to strengthen the rural economy and make the Gauthan cattle shed a source of income. There will be 300 such parks in the project's first year. In keeping with Mahatma Gandhi's vision of Gram Swaraj which promotes cottage industries to strengthen the rural economy Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel has launched an initiative to establish such units to provide income generating opportunities So with this daily update we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Updates 29th August 2022 Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off. Thank you.